Hey, Fort Knox teammates. As my time comes to a close as the commander of the United States Army Cadet Command in Fort Knox, I want to take an opportunity on behalf of myself, my wife, Carolyn, and our daughters, Annabelle and Addison, to say thank you. We feel incredibly blessed to have had the privilege to serve with the soldiers, civilians, and family members of this special community for the last 38 months. It is hard for us to put into words our appreciation for the kindness we were shown upon our arrival in May of 2018 and the enduring support we've received throughout the last three years. The Evans family is proud of all that Fort Knox has been able to accomplish while we've been part of the Gold Standard team. From the renovation of our high school and junior high to the opening of our new Ireland Clinic and community-based outpatient VA clinic, to the arrival of U.S. Army Fifth Corps and the training of over 30,000 ROTC cadets, it's difficult to enumerate all of the significant achievements you have accomplished, and we have felt privileged to be part of the team that brought them to fruition. As we depart Cadet Command in Fort Knox, we take with us an enduring appreciation of the hard work, dedication, and professionalism that is the very essence of what makes Fort Knox one of the finest installations in our Army. We want to offer our heartfelt thanks to the many units across multiple Army commands and components that are responsible for recruiting, retaining, training, and sustaining our total Army force. The dedicated soldiers, civilians, contractors, and partners are the life's blood of this installation, empowered and supported by a garrison team which truly is the gold standard for our Army. We want to recognize and bid a fond farewell to our community partners outside the gates. Gold neighbors, local leaders, dedicated retirees and volunteers and community members who embrace Fort Knox and tirelessly advocate for its soldiers and families. We feel blessed beyond words to have been able to serve here for so long. As we move to our next great Army chapter, we take with us the indomitable spirit of the people of Fort Knox and leave our enduring admiration for who you are, what you do, and what you are destined to become in the future. We wish the Davis family good luck and Godspeed as they assume the mantle of leadership, and I am certain that you will show them the same kindness, understanding, compassion, and support you've shown me and my family as they lead you into the future. Fort Knox will always be our old Kentucky home. While 38 months does take a toll, we leave here rejuvenated by your invaluable friendship and strengthened by your love and support. Because this is Fort Knox, and strength starts here.